Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel Tomcat Stitchery. I'm Whitney and I have a fun and exciting video today. <laughs> So if any of you are on Instagram or if you happen to subscribe to AK Patterns, which is Athena Kiku, um, uh, she's back now and I don't know if you are part of her newsletter or um, whatever, but she had a new pattern released yesterday, so Wednesday, you're watching this on Friday, but it was, um, I'm filming this on Thursday, and it was the Whitney dress and top and I'll pop a picture of the pattern right here. Um, so, very exciting. This is the pattern test I've been working on that I said was very exciting for me <laughs> because I'm having a pattern named after me, um, which is just such an honor. She contacted me um, shortly after um, all the, the um, um, self-quarantine, um, isolation, self-isolation, all of that stuff kind of began because she was relaunching her business back up. Um, she had kind of closed things down a little bit this school year because she actually got a teaching job, which is what her degree is in, um, on the island of Crete. And so um, she had kind of closed things down so that they could move to the other side of the country um, to an island and uh, get settled and then get, you know, her um, teacher's footing underneath her. I think it all happened rather fast. So anyway, when uh, the isolation and all that kind of started um, amping up, she was able to take a little bit more time and uh, get the business opened back up. And um, she had had a pattern in the works when she kind of went dark. And so that one came up and it was the Britney skirt. And I was actually a tester for that way back last year. And then um, the Whitney dress and top was the next uh, new pattern that she uh, did once um, everything, you know, she got everything back up. So um, anyway, it is a knit wrap dress and or top with this beautiful scalloped um, neckline. Um, and actually I have, I have access now, um, I don't know that I have the final pattern, but I think I have access to what is the final pattern basically um, right now and I'm actually going to make um, one that does not have the scalloped neckline. It's just a, a plain neckband um, that she threw in kind of last minute, um, but I love the scallop. So basically if I were to pick a pattern that resembled most um, represented me as a person, a knit wrap dress would 100% be it. <laughs> So I'm like, oh my gosh, she nailed it. Like, this is perfect. Um, I love the scalp detail. It just adds a little different, uh, a little something different to the front, you know, than your average um, wrap. Um, this one is not a, it is a functioning wrap dress, but it has, it kind of ties like a rope. So it's got the tie on the inside and then it ties over here um, on the other side. But I don't have, it goes side seam to side seam. So I don't have an issue with anything um, flying open. Um, anyway, it has a couple of different sleeve lengths, um, and the biggest part of this pattern is that this is her first one that she's done with cup sizes. Ah. She has an, let's see, there's five. I think it's an A, B, C, no, it must be an A, a B, yes, an A, a B, a C, a D, and a double D. There's five different cup sizes. Um, and I made the size 12 with a D cup and it fits me just perfect. Um, I did have to do a little bit of an narrow shoulder adjustment on mine, which is, I mean, absolutely normal. She did actually, after I had made these two versions I'm about ready to show you, she did narrow the shoulder a little bit because um, a few people were having the shoulders come up a little bit wide. I think she narrowed it by 5 eighths of an inch, but I had to take mine in like a full inch. Um, so probably I'll just have to do like, pretty typical, like a half inch, three quarters of an inch is what I usually have to take in most shoulders. Um, so this one would be like, you know, three eighths of an inch for instance. But anyway, <laughs> I am planning on making um, one more. I want to make a uh, top with just the regular neck band. I think I want to make a top. Maybe I will do a dress though. I haven't decided yet, but I want to use that um, red cotton modal uh, jersey that I showed in my May plans video that I wasn't sure what I was going to do with it. Um, and then, you know, because I was already making a dress and a top from this pattern, but then when she decided to do a plain neckband too, I'm like, well, that's not too similar to the one I already made, so I think I could do a third one very easily. <laughs> and it's my namesake pattern, like, yeah, I've got to make a ton of those. So um, I will be making a third one, but I wanted to show you the two versions today. All right, we will start off with the top just because it's right here. So um, if you watched my May plans video, I had shown this fabric, everything is coming apart here, shown this fabric, and um, I had three yards of this art gallery cotton lycra knit 
Um, it's got like these little branches on it with this beautiful like little berries. Um, and I'd always planned on doing the skirt or the skirt, the um, top version with this fabric. So with my three yards, um, and I don't know why I bought three yards. I just kind of like, oh, we'll just buy three yards. So with my three yards, I was able to get this top out of it. And then I was also um, working on another pattern test for a different company that comes out, I think the first week of June, um, that is a skirt. And um, I was able to get a skirt out of this fabric too. So I'll be able to have a faux dress, basically. So I'll be able to wear this wrap top over the skirt and have a faux dress, which I'm very excited about. And I was able to get one of the um, Summer Basic tanks uh, from Love Notions. You know, I keep that pattern in my um, uh, cutting table in my drawer. I keep that one and I keep the Megan Nielsen Acacia, Acacia underwear in my drawer so that if I have a little bit extra knit when I'm cutting things out, I'll try and get one or both of those out of there. I didn't have enough to do the underwear out of this or the next one, but I was able to get the tank out of it. So I used every last bit of this beautiful art gallery fabric. But let's talk about the pattern. So it has this beautiful scalloped um, neck band, and it's faced, and then it's got these nice big ties that tie on the outside really prettily. And then it comes with ties for the inside of the pattern, but they were getting a little bulky, so I actually had some extra shoestrings, and my stats, they're purple. They don't really match, but that's okay. So I actually sewed the shoestrings, and um, there's the inside one, and then here's the outside one. So those, it's ties like a rope. So these get tied to this side seam, and then this gets overlapped and tied. So I, I used the, the shoestrings actually in both of these versions. Um, Honestly, twill tape might, might actually be the best because that'd be nice and flat. So I may do twill tape in this next one I'm going to do. Um, but yeah, it keeps everything nice and secure. Um, I think one of the testers did a button on the inside, which you may get a little bit of show through depending on how thick a fabric you're using. Um, but yeah, there are definitely options. I wanted something that wasn't stretchy. So this fabric obviously is stretchy. So these ties are stretchy, the main ones. These ties <laughs> are stretchy, which is fine for the outside, but I wanted something that was going to hold a little bit better. So I had, again, these are the leftover shoestrings from my daughter's cropped um, sweatshirts that I made her not that long ago. Um, I say that like at the beginning of quarantine. <laughs> but um, anyway, these just don't stretch as much, so they, they hold together. Uh, and I actually don't need, um, a lot of times with my wrap dresses, I have to put the little clear snap right there just to keep things all holding in. I don't have to do that with this one. The neckline's high enough that, um, and because it's cup sizes, it just fits like a dream. So I have not felt a need to do the um, snap at all in this one. Now let's talk about the scalloped um, neckband. So it just goes, it's just the neckband. So it goes um, to the skirt and then it goes into just the regular hem of the skirt or the peplum. Someone asked, they're like, is it super, is it hard to sew the um, the scallops? No, it's not hard. So it comes with, uh, actually it's, it comes with its own pattern piece that you cut out, and then it comes with another template that you lay on top of that to draw in your sewing lines. Um, but what some of the testers were doing, which actually makes complete sense, were just cutting out a rectangle, or two rectangles, um, for, because it's a, you know, get sewn together, so a front and back. They were cutting out just rectangles with the dimensions of the scallop piece and then putting the um, template on top to draw in your sewing lines because you don't necessarily have to have, you have to go back and trim your scallops anyway, so why cut out the scallops in the first place, you know? Just do the rectangle and then set that template on, draw it on, and then you sew along your drawn line. So it's just a lot of, you know, curving it around, stopping, pivoting, curving it around. Um, so it takes a little bit. And then I went back and cut about uh, less than a quarter of an inch, like an eighth of an inch probably to my stitching line. And then when I got to the, um, the little dips here in the scallop, you just cut right to the stitching line. Um, and it really didn't take that long. You have to be careful. You don't want to accidentally clip your stitching. Um, and then I just very carefully took it over to my ironing board and just rolled the layers back and forth to make sure that I was getting all that curve to come out so that they weren't coming out pointy, you know? And then because this is cotton lycra, they pressed fantastic. So once that was all done, um, yeah, then I popped it in and, uh, per normal neckband and it just looks so cute. Um, the pattern calls for you to interface the scallop. I did not. 
because I was using a cotton jersey. Now, if I had been using anything that had been like a rayon, anything with rayon in it, even like a cotton modal, like with the cotton modal, if I were doing the scallops with the cotton modal because it's drapier, I would interface those. But um, because my cotton jersey, it's pretty um, bodied, um, I did not interface my uh, neckband because I didn't want those, I wanted those to kind of lay nicely and I'm very pleased with how they turned out. So that is the top. I did the three quarter length sleeves. Are they three? Yeah, three quarter length sleeves, I think. Or are they elbow? No, I can't remember. I think they're three quarter. You'll see in the picture. <laughs> I did the same sleeves on both of them, but there are different sleeve options on these. So there is the top. I love it with white jeans. Um, yeah, I have some pale blue shorts I made last summer. It'd be fantastic. Anything orange, you know, I have some of that orange linen. I may make some orange bottoms. I think it would look fantastic over orange uh, because of that orange in the um, berry. All right, so that was my top. And then I also made a dress. So not a whole lot of difference. Just the top has a peplum, basically a much shorter skirt than the actual pattern. Um, I made it the same way. This is the same fabric, just in a different print. This is Art Gallery. Um, you guys have seen I was able to eke out a wanted tee out of this fabric too. I love this fabric. It is just gorgeous and it's got so many beautiful colors in it for summer. I did the same thing with the um, shoestring uh, for the inside. I shortened the skirt on this one by two inches, which is pretty typical for me, um, just because I'm only 5'2". Uh, so I did do that. So the same, a size 12 with a D cup. I did the, um, I think it's a three quarter length sleeve. It's the same length sleeve. And I just love how this turned out. I mean, this, you can wear a whole bunch of different lipsticks with this. So I have on kind of a one with a little bit more pink in it today. I think it would look lovely because you've got some of the pinks. I took pictures, um, in my kind of, got a hair on me. <laughs> I took pictures in my uh, Mac So Showed, which is kind of a red, a red that goes orange. Uh, God. <laughs> huh. um, it's a red that goes orange, but that's like this color right here, and it just looked fantastic. Um, yeah, I'm just really, really pleased with this. And yeah, I just don't know if someone had said, if you you know, had to pick a, you know, a pattern that most represented you as a person, what would it be? I think a knit wrap dress would 100% be it. And this is just perfect. And I love just, you know, with all of Athena's stuff, she does some fun little details on there and there's your scallops and it's just beautiful. But yeah, they're not hard. They're just, you have to go slow. So it, it takes a little bit longer to make this than maybe your average knit wrap dress, just because you do have to just go a little bit slower, but it's not hard. And I still got a clean, beautiful finish very easily. So, um, yeah, and I'm excited to try out the plain band as well, just because I want to um, play around with this a little bit more. I mean, because it's a knit wrap dress, how comfortable in all sorts of weather and, you know, you could wear it in the winter months, you know, use a more of a darker knit if you wanted to, pair it with boots. Obviously in the summer, you can do all the different sleeve lengths. Um, it's just a, I'm just very, I'm very, honored that she um, put my name on this pattern. I just, I'm just over the moon with that. So I just wanted to share that with you guys because I kind of been hinting that something exciting was happening and then she released the pattern on Wednesday. So I wanted to quickly get on here and show you guys everything. So at the end of this video, I'm actually going to just, I'll just leave you a montage. Um, we took a ton of pictures because she had asked for, um, well, me in particular, because, you know, she wanted to get a large array of pictures um, for the pattern and for uh, the release and all that stuff since um, it was my namesake. So we took a ton of pictures. Um, by we, I mean my husband. Like he actually, um, he does it very often, uh, act like my photographer, but he actually has an excellent eye. He used to be really into photography. And in fact, the lens I'm currently filming on is from his um, uh, photography days. You know, he was putting some serious money into some fancy equipment just because that was kind of his creative outlet. And he kind of got out of it, and I'm not sure why, but... Um, I think probably because now his creative or his hobby is uh, coaching soccer. So when our son got old enough and really interested in that, that's kind of where all of his uh, extra time energy has gone. But anyway, he still has a fantastic eye. So when I can get him out there to be my photographer, it always results in fantastic results. It always results in fantastic results. That was, <laughs> you know what I mean. <laughs>
he always does a really nice job. So I'm going to leave a montage of the uh, photos that we took, kind of a slideshow at the end of this so you guys can see, just because I'm just, you know, excited that I've got a pattern named after me. That's just such a fun thing. Um, so I'm leaving a link down to the pattern below if you want to go take a look at it. Um, I do not get affiliate money um, with AK Patterns, but um, yeah, I'll definitely send you guys over um, and put the link down there because yeah, it's a good one. All right, that's all I've got for today. So Sunday will be continuation of the Kimberly Sew Along. I will be doing the bodices. Um, I think both bodices. I haven't edited anything yet, so I don't know how long it's going to be. It could be that we do one bodice this week and, and another bodice, the second bodice next week, um, just for time purposes. But I will be showing you how to draft the scoop neckline um, since I lost that footage. Um, I'll be doing that when I do the scoop neck bodice, whether that's this week or next week. So stay tuned for that. Um, yeah, and I think that's all. And then Tuesday, I have a Sew the Look. I was going to do a Sew the Look today, but um, obviously the pattern got released, so I wanted to do this video today, and then I thought on Tuesday, I'll do a Sew the Look. So I have recreated the looks of one of the um, street style looks that I had penned or talked about in my spring um, street style and patterns to whatever. It's always a long title. 10 spring street style looks and the patterns to sew them or something like that. <laughs> but um, I like to recreate some of those uh, through the, you know, the weeks and that kind of thing. So I have one for you all on Tuesday. All right. So that's what we got to look forward to. Um, and then next Friday, I have a video. I'm going to be doing a video on five ways to spark your creativity. So if you're finding yourself in a kind of a burnout mode or in a kind of a creative rut, which is perfectly normal in this time of weirdness. Um, I've just got five tips to help um, pull you out of that a little bit. So give yourself some self-care, self-love. So that's next Friday. All right. I hope you guys have a fantastic weekend. And if you're watching the daily vlogs, I will see you tomorrow. And if not, I will see you on the sew along on Sunday. Hope you guys have a good one and I'll see you then. Bye. Bye.